What is up everyone, this is Rohit Hyper and in this video I'm gonna show you 5 useful tips that will make you a better player with some of practice. And uh, before the video starts, um, I want to thank so much for 100 subscribers, you guys are the best, thank you so much, I appreciate it, and let's get into the video. The first tip is settings and button layout. Well, in every battle royale or online game, you must have good settings to improve your gameplay. My setting is sensitivity is 1.6 and in rocket royale it's necessary to have a good sensitivity but not for aiming because you have auto aim so you don't have many problems with aim but sensitivity for your building and about the bottom layout you need to change the controls again to improve your gameplay well this is my bottom layout you can change it uh, as you like to anything and then apply it or cancel or reset or anything you do just you, you must have a good one okay you need to find your own sensitivity and you need to find your own button layout Second tip is the map. Use the map as a key to success, or if you want to drop a high kill, there are many uses for the map that could help you to drop a high kill. First one is the death marker. So many players know this, but I'll tell you. When someone dies, it marks on the map. Of course, someone killed him, so you can go there and kill him again. Second one is when the game starts. When so many players go through the portal, they don't know where are they going or where are they. So you can uh, they can't find their own loot. Of course, if you didn't find your own loot, you will go to die. So look at the map when you go through the portal. Find houses, find your own loot, and go to fight. The third use is the fireballs that appears on the map. Memorize as many as you can of these fireballs and look at the map every 20 to 30 seconds. When someone destroys it, just like Aimboy did, it did, the fireballs disappears on the map. That means someone is near there or someone is there, so you can go to that place and kill him. Number 3. Building it's important to have a high skill building. You can sometimes go to solos, collect material and just build and practice just like I do. You can defend yourself by building in Rocket Royale and learn new tricks for building. There aren't many tricks that discovered yet, but you can create your own one. For example, I have a trick when you lose the high ground. Of course, when you lose the high ground, your position goes like this. When you want to ramp up and regain the high ground, of course, uh, a ramp above you, you're ready to donate it, but before you do it, build a wall right here, and then do your 90s. The point of building this wall here, your opponent that has the high ground is ready to shoot you any time you appear but when you build the wall he can't shoot you and he can't see you so you will be protected So practice a lot, build so much to win every build battle or every fight. 
and like I said, learn new tricks or treat your own one. Treat your own 90s. And the important thing is to practice all the building pieces. Don't practice the ramp only or don't practice the wall only, but practice the floor, the ramp, the wall, because they are all useful and they all can protect you. number four character movement and it's so so important to have a good movement skill especially in houses because uh, if you have a good movement you will be a hard target for your opponent and he can shoot you very well the i mean of character movement is crouching and jumping so much uh, and it will be easy to have a good movement if you edit your button layout just like I said in the tip number one and if you play cloud. In this clip, if you see, I'm fighting fearless and he's a hard target for me because he's having a good movement and I killed him very hard and I missed so many shots. This is why having a good movement will help you and it's so important to have a good movement, just like I said. Tip number five, and tip number five is about teaming. Well, about teaming, if you want to be a pro player, I say don't team with others. You can sometimes team with your friends just for fun, but not always. So many players think if they team with others, it will good, it will be good for them, but I say they are wrong. Because when you team with others, your teammates taking care of you and you take care of your teammates. So I say go solo and don't let others take care of you, just you take care of yourself. And for the last time I say if you want to be a better player, if you want to be pro, it's a big mistake to team with others. That was all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and 
I hope these tips will have advantage for you, just remember to practice.